mother time welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be starting some spring decorating and i'm going to be sharing with you some spring ideas using spring florals from the craft store i have some fun ideas to show you that are affordable to bring some spring into your home i cannot wait to show you these ideas so stay tuned if you are new here to my channel welcome i love sharing home decor cooking and diy here on my channel so if those are videos you enjoy watching click that subscribe button below so you never miss a video okay you guys you know what time it is grab yourself a coffee or a tea sit back relax and let's get to decorating first up i'm going to decorate my dough bowl for spring using all of these supplies from hobby lobby i will include a link for all of these supplies that i used in the description below I actually got my dough bowl years ago at Hobby Lobby. I love this dough bowl. And now I'm gonna start by filling it with this baby's breath garland. It is so beautiful and full and perfect for filling for a dough bowl. Next, I added a glass candle holder and wreath and I love the texture with the garland and the wreath. It really is pretty combination. And then I'm adding a flameless candle. This is the only item that is not from Hobby Lobby, but you can definitely find flameless candles at Hobby Lobby. I love this one, I have it on hand, so I'm gonna use that one. Next, I'm adding these large speckled eggs in the Easter section at Hobby Lobby. I love the size of them, they're a great filler. And the best thing is, is that after Easter, you can fill it with different things. You can use moss balls, you could use boxwood balls, or even think ahead to summer and fill it with lemons. And then I'm adding this happy Easter sign that's also again from Hobby Lobby. And the best thing is, is once Easter's over, you can just remove the sign. And this is a beautiful arrangement to last you all spring. Next up, I'm going to make a hanging floral wall pocket using all of these florals, including the wall pocket from Hobby Lobby. All the supplies here are from Hobby Lobby, which I love. And I love this floral combination. Wait until you see how this turns out. And I love this mini rose bush. You get a lot of bang for your buck. And then I'm using these florals and as well as these, I'll include links for all of them in the description below. First, I'm going to start with this mini rose bush. And again, you get a lot of bang for your buck with this one. You get the greens, you get the florals. And just like this alone looks really, really good. And then I'm gonna fill in with three of these florals just for more texture. And then I like that little subtle pop of color, which I will add in at the end. And this is how it looks so far. I love it just like this, but now I'm gonna add in just that little subtle pop of color with this last floral stem, and I love it the way it looks. I really like to fluff out my florals when I'm making arrangements like this to really fill it out and really kind of play around with them. Now I picked out two different ribbons. I ended up choosing this check ribbon. I love this, especially for spring, and I'm just gonna keep it simple, wrapping it around the floral basket and then just dovetailing the ends. And this is how it turned out. I absolutely love it. This looks great on a wall or even on a door. I'm thinking about making another one to hang on my front double doors. I love this floral combination. You can do this in a vase arrangement as well. And the best thing is about doing these floral pockets is you can change them out seasonally.
Next two arrangements I'm gonna be making are with tulips, my favorite spring flower. Well, one of my favorite spring flowers. I love, I love spring flowers. Anyways, so I have these tulips that I first showed you. These are like the real touch tulips. I've had them for years. I got them at a local shop, but you can find them on Amazon. You see a lot of people using them. Well, I found these tulips at Michael's and I'm obsessed with them. I absolutely love them. And I think I may like them more than the real touch tulips. I just feel like you get a lot of bang for your buck. You can see one stem versus one and right now these stems at michael's are $1.99 so again you get a lot of bang for your buck so first i'm going to make a really pretty spring floral arrangement using a vase i got this at home goods now i use a paper cup to hold some of the stems of course you can use floral foam but if you don't have floral foam you can use a paper cup it really holds the stems now i'm just adding floral these into a few of the cups and then i'll fill in around the cups too so it actually helps hold the flowers in too and one thing I always like to do is really fluff the florals out. I mentioned that too with the floral pocket, really fluff them out, play around and give it a really organic look. Look at how beautiful this is. This is only with five of the stems from Michaels. I'm gonna add in one more. And like I said, I put some of them in the paper cup and then I went around with a few of them too. And then again, I can really fluff and zhuzh them out. And look at how beautiful this arrangement is with just six of the stems. Next, I decided to take some of that ribbon that I used on the floral pocket and just wrap it around the face. I think it gives it a really pretty springy look and perfect for a centerpiece. And here it is all done. How stunning is this arrangement? I absolutely love it. And again, I love these tulips too. And I love that you get the greenery in it. You get a lot of bang for your buck with those tulips. So I hope you like them as well. And they have a whole bunch of colors. Now I'm going to style this with a cute little bunny as well as this riser. And then I'm going to add these really cute egg plates that I got a few years ago at Hobby Lobby on top of the riser. And then I found these carrots also at Hobby Lobby. I thought they were just darling. I'm going to trim them off the pick and then just add them around this as well. And here it is all done. I love the way this arrangement turned out. It is so fresh and springy. up I'm going to make a tulip wreath. Now I found this oval grapevine wreath at Hobby Lobby but you could use a round one as well but I love the oval one. It actually reminded me of an Easter egg. So I have my favorite tulips here again from Michaels and I'm going to trim them off so I have the stems and I'm just going to stick them all around the grapevine wreath to make a beautiful tulip wreath. I ended up using nine of the stems for this wreath. So I start at the top and I'm gonna go in the same direction with the tulips all the way around and I'm just sticking them in the grapevine wreath. The grapevine wreath holds the stems really well. Plus, if you ever want to remove them for another project, you can easily do so. But if you want more of a permanent hold, just some, add some hot glue to the stem and then stick it into the grapevine wreath. These tulips come in a bunch of different colors, so you can even mix and match colors too. You could add a little pink to the white or yellow to the white or do pink and yellow or whatever color. There's a ton of different color options to choose from. I just kept it simple with the cream. I love this creamy color. It's just a perfect neutral. So I'm just gonna keep going around, sticking in the stems into the grapevine wreath until I've made it all the way around.
This wreath also takes very little time. Once you get on a roll, it took me about 10 minutes, maybe 15 at the most to fill in this entire wreath. And this is how it looks with eight of the stems. Now I'm gonna take one last stem, so that's why I have a total of nine stems and just kind of fill in anywhere. But I also love the tulips with the grapevine wreath. I just love that combination. I love how you see that little pop of grapevine wreath coming through too. Now I have this ribbon. This is also a ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna keep it very simple and just tie it at the bottom of the wreath, dovetail the ends, and this just turned out so pretty, so high end as well. Okay guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments below what you enjoyed the most. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, make sure you're following me over on my Instagram page at Mother Time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.